Hi, welcome back to BizJet TV. It's Fab Polly here, and today the episode is about the Pilatos PC24, the only private jet that can land on grass and unpaved runways. So this is really, really interesting. And before we get into the specifics of the PC24, I just want to tell you a little bit about how this jet was born. Now, a few years ago, there was a company in Germany called Grob, and, and Grob made, made, made airplanes, and they had a project called the Grob SPM. And this was a jet that landed on grass, and they were doing the test flying. Unfortunately, during the test flight, the airplane crashed and killed the test pilot. So eventually, the project got scrapped. Now, as this happened, down in South Africa, there was a company down there that operated a lot of PC-12s, which is a turboprop operated by Pilatus. If you don't know about the PC-12, uh, I encourage you to look into it. You can click on the on the link here just above me, uh, which will take you to the video I did recently about the PC-12. But anyway, going back to the gentleman in South Africa, he saw a need for a jet that could service the African market that could land on unpaved runways and grass strips that had a, a, quite a good cargo door. So basically a, a PC-12, but you know, with jets that could go faster and, and fly at higher altitudes. So anyway, so he went to speak to the Grob guys, now they've gone bust, and then he thought of taking the project to the guys at Pilatus. So they eventually sat around a table and decided to come up with something, but Pilatus decided not to copy the Grob project. The Grob airplane, the Grob SPM was actually built in composite materials, which is one of the problems they were having in getting through certification was the fact that it was built out of composite material. And when we do have today the Boeing 787, which is made of composite materials, but even that has had problems. And this is always the case with new technologies and aircraft. Because, you know, aircraft do fly at 35,000 feet where the temperature is minus 52 and they do operate in and out airfields all over the world. So, you know, that whatever material you're going to build an aircraft of, it has to be tested in all those different environments. So anyway, eventually Pilatus decided to develop the PC-24, taking inspiration from the Grob SPM project, but build it in an aluminium instead of building it in composite material. So off they went and they built the PC-24. They announced it three years ago at eBase, which is the business jet air show that happens in Geneva every May. And they sold out all 84 positions of the PC-24 in three days. So incredible, incredible success. They had a mock-up of the, I was there, they had a mock-up of the um, of the cabin, which you could walk through and that. Very interesting. So the aircraft has now gone through flight testing. It's certified. The first few PC-24s have been delivered. Uh, Pilatus have kept the order book shut at the moment. I think they've been very clever about it. What they're doing is, as the aircraft have been delivered to the Royal Flying Doctors in Australia, the aircraft's been delivered to Plain Sense over in the United States, which have already operate PC-12s as well, so do the Royal Flying Doctors. And also we've got JetFly over here in um, in Europe that fly a lot of PC-12s. They've taken delivery of PC-24 as well. So what Pilatus are doing now is they're talking to these operators to find out exactly how the aircraft is behaving online. They're collecting all the data and they're elaborating and, and carefully pondering over the data, analyzing it to see if they need to make any changes in the design of the of the PC-24, whether it's avionics, flaps, landing gear, brakes, whatever it may be, before they start releasing and taking orders for, for new PC-24s. What I've heard, rumour, and this is just rumour, this is not fact, this is just me putting the rumour out there, let's put it that way, I think they're going to reopen the order at eBase in May of 2019. Now, the aeroplane, last time it was out there for sale, it was selling for $9 million, which $9 million, but let's have a look at the specifics. What does this aeroplane actually do? Where can it go? Well, first of all, uh, let's look at the operating cost. All in, it's around about $3,000 an hour. It's got a large cabin, a wide cabin. Again, uh, the cabin is, is larger than most a medium to, to small jets. It's got that cargo door like the PC-12, so it has a door at the front with the stairs, and then it's got the cargo door at the back, which is very wide. You can open, you can put motorbikes in there, canoes, uh, boxes of, of quite quite a large size, stuff that you wouldn't be able to put into a Hawker or a Challenger 300 and that, you can put in the PC-24. Now, the PC-24 has got some very good takeoff and landing performance. It needs about 2,900 foot runway to come in and out of. The speed's very good, it's 440 knots in the crew, so it's just as fast as any other jet that's out there, maybe a, a little tad faster. But you know, it can land in those short distances, it can land on grass, it can land on unpaved runways, and it's got that big cargo door on that large cabin. Wi-Fi on board, the avionics are very modern, very state of the art, so it's easy for the pilot to, to, to work with, it, it increases the situation awareness. So it's got all that kit up front. The aircraft is also certified for single pilot operations, so you really don't need two pilots, you can just operate with one, even though my advice is always to operate with two pilots. So the PC-24 overall, now I haven't flown the airplane yet, I hope to be able to test fly one soon and we'll be making a video on that. Just to let you know, you know, this is a very interesting aeroplane. Depending, as I always say, depending on your type of operation, depending on what, what area of the world you're 
working in. But, you know, if you're doing air ambulance, you're working in places like Africa where you need to go into short strips, carry, you know, maybe six, seven people with some equipment, then this is an airplane you need to seriously look at because this uh, can do stuff that other aircraft can't do. And this is why I'm doing a video about it because, you know, there's a lot of aircraft out there that, you know, they're, they're kind of the same. I mean, if you take the mid-sized market, I mean, Falcon 2000, Challenger 604, which one should I buy? Again, that depends on, on, on your operation. But with the PC-24, it's got so many unique factors about it that really there is no competition for what it does. That's if you need the cargo door, you need to land on the, on the grass strips, the unpaved runways. Then this is something you need to look at. Don't think of the $9 million or $10 million, however much it's going to cost. We don't know what the new price is going to be. Don't look at that. Think of what this airplane can do for you and your business and what business deals will come as a result of operating with an aircraft that gives you so much flexibility. I mean, the range of the aircraft is about 1,800 nautical miles. Can't quite make it coast to coast, United States, LA, New York. They'll have to stop in between. But you know, it's it's good to do other, other sorts of routes. And think of all those airports. I mean, right now, take America, for example. There are about 450 airports in America that are serviced by the airlines. And there are 5,000 that are not serviced by the airlines, which private jets can get in and out of. But then if we extend the number of airports to the unpaved runways and the grass strips, I mean, we're talking probably close to 10,000 different airports that the PC-24 can land at. So this is going to give you enormous flexibility because now there's so many other places you can go in and out of which are closer to, the, to, to, to where your the venue is for your business meeting and that's going to save you stacks of time and that cargo door the ability to do cargo and you can take the seats out and turn it into a cargo aircraft and put the seats back in and that quick change is something like 45 minutes so that's that's good it's also there's a version for air ambulance where they've put I think I believe it's three stretchers inside so there's if you're an air ambulance operator this is something you need to look at so that's basically overall my take on the on the Pilatus PC24 great airplane you need to look in and if you want to do a call with me just post a, an email below and I can schedule you guys in no problem and we can talk more about your operation and, and how maybe the PC24 may fit into what you already do so that's all from Fab Pilot Bizjet TV if you haven't subscribed please subscribe like this video share comment below and I'll see you on the next one.